Hey guys, now before we jump into the modeling of our room, we need to save this model, which is super important. And I forgot to mention that in the previous video. So go to file and click on save if you not save the file at all. Or you can click on save as as well if you want to create a new copy of your file. So I'm going to click on save. And now I'm going to browse to my directory where I need to save this file. And I'm going to give a name for this. So I'm just going to call it abstract 3D art. And now you can save your file in any version. That's the best part about SketchUp, which I really appreciate. Because in other software, especially in Revit, you can't really save it in a lower version. But SketchUp gives you the option to save it in a lower version. And if your teammate or your employees are working with another version of SketchUp, you can simply click on that version and click on save. I'm going to leave it in the default SketchUp model and then click on save. Now, If you want to make a copy of this, you can go to file save as change the name and click on save again or you can also go to file click on save as copy as and then you can see that it automatically puts a number to it which is abstract 3d art 1 and just notice what happens on top we have the name as abstract 3d art but if i click on save it's going to remain the same and it will not take this name so if i click on save you can see that remains as abstract 3d art and if I open my folder, we have two files. So file save has copy as simply keeps an history of the updates in your SketchUp file. And it's a good idea if you have multiple changes in your model. Simply do a file save as copy as. And it would create a copy of your main file. And you can always open that file in case the main file crashes or comes up with errors. So I hope you found this video useful. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.